Hello lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Trina and today I have created this full glam festive look perfect for Durga Puja or Navratri. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. So I've already moisturized and primed my face and as you can see I have acne prone skin so I have acne and acne spots pigmentation around my mouth area, on my nose, around my nose area and around my eye area. So to conceal those I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and applying it all over where it needs to be concealed and hidden. I'm not using any red or orange corrector. I'm just using a concealer which is close to my skin shade and I'm applying it so as to cancel out the darkness or any redness around my nose area or anywhere where I have unevenness. Next, I'm blending the concealer very well with a damp sponge and I'm just dabbing it into the skin this concealer is a really good option it blends out so smoothly and it does not crease so much and it does not really cling to your dry patches so which is a very good point of this concealer next I'm using the fit me foundation I'm just applying a thin layer of this foundation not too much and it has pretty well covered up my pigmentation and any spots and has that beautiful shine on my face and whatever was left on my sponge I'm applying that on my neck as well I usually don't contour my face but as been promised it's going to be full glam face so I will be contouring my face and for that I'm using the Nykaa Skin Genius Concealing Palette and from that palette I'm taking the darkest shade and using it as my contour shade. I will be blending the contour with that same beauty sponge because that sponge has the foundation left on it so with that it will be easier to blend it without making it look more harsh because it's very tricky to work with cream products if you don't blend in properly it's going to look um, very harsh for concealer I'm using the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 40 caramel and I'm using it to just highlight my face I'm using it around my eye area on the corner especially on my nose on the bridge of my nose on my forehead on my cupid's bow and on my chin If you're following me for a while now, you must know that I try to stick to those products or brands which I feel suits me the best. For example, this Maybelline Fit Me concealer and the foundation. I tried using the Age Rewind concealer but it did not work for me. I did not enjoy using that concealer. It was way more drying and was very patchy. So I always go back to the product which usually works for my skin type. Now here I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I will be linking down and writing down the shade names in the description box so make sure you check that out. I absolutely love to use this powder. And I'm applying the powder on areas where I have used the concealer to stop my concealer from creasing and setting pretty much my face. I did not apply any bronzer but I absolutely enjoy wearing blush so here I'm using the color bar blush this is in the shade coral bliss I'm applying it on my cheekbone to give it a lifted look and on my chin next is the eyebrows as you can see I have bushy and thick eyebrows I don't do much I just use an eyebrow pencil to fill up the gaps in between the brows and here I'm using the Faces Canada Eyebrow Pencil.
for my eyeshadow i'll be using these two palettes first is the sugar palette and the other is the nikake palette from the sugar palette i'm taking that earthy orange shade and i'm using it to create a shadow on my crease and just deepening the crease it's a beautiful palette it has a uh, beautiful eight shades with mattes and shimmers then from that nikake palette i'm taking a brown shade and applying it on my outer portion of the eyes to give it a smoky effect the nikake palette is full worth of your money i mean the palette has beautiful shades and it's also very inexpensive next from that sugar palette i'm taking the deep burgundy shade it's a beautiful shimmer shade and i'm applying it with my fingers from the middle to my end portion of the eyelid to just give it a sheen to that look and darkening the outer portion of my eyes and as you know the best way to make use of the shimmer shades is to use your fingers to get the maximum color payoff next from that same palette i'm taking the bronze gold shade it's a beautiful gold shade and i'm applying it as my inner corner highlight and also on the inner portion of my eyelid and i'm blending it well with that colors these colors are super blendable and super pigmented and you can see that color transition there it looks amazing from that same nikake palette i'm using that dark brown shade and applying it on my lower lash line next i will be tightening my waterline and for that i'm using that black gold pencil from plum next i will be creating a small wing and for that i'm using the nika eyeliner next i'm applying the mars mascara this is one of my favorite mascara and applying it on my upper and my lower lashes and that is pretty much the complete eye look then to highlight my face i'm using the molten chrome highlighter from maybelline and applying it on my highest points of my face on my cheekbone on my nose on the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow on my temples and on my chin and with my sarees i absolutely love using darker lip shade or bold lip shade and i'm using here the lakme forever matte lipstick so this is the complete makeup and you guys i'm absolutely loving the eye shadow right now and i've just added a bindi a jhumka and my white sari and this is the close up of the eye look if you enjoyed watching this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and please 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 subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching